Hi, Jenny here. Now this is a really weird way to make a video, but the thing is I want to show you something that's right down here, so I had to get down on the ground with it. I feel like David Attenborough or something. Um, it's weeds is the thing to talk about today. And the reason why is I just found this little pile of weeds here. It reminded me of what I do without even thinking of it. So you know how it is. You just go around a little bit and you pick out some small, small green innocent weeds. Sometimes there's a lot, sometimes there's a little. This was a little. I was just passing by. And what I do without thinking about it is I just put them on a rock like that. Bang. And for a few days until they dry out. And then when you come back you might find something like this. This was from the other day. It's a little bit bigger clump that had a pile of soil on it and some uh, dry grassy bits on the top. And this to me looks pretty harmless now. So what I will do is just toss that into there and it will add to the, uh, to the mulch layer uh, in the garden. And this is just a really easy way of keeping your garden clean. Not that mine is perfect, far from. I have, you know, weeds everywhere. But if I do get some, they always go back in the garden. I have no garden compost and I don't compost weeds, but every single weed goes back into the garden. So these are your options. One, you take a little green weed like this, or bigger, smaller, whatever, and you put it on a rock or on some gravel or whatever until it dries up. Um, and then eventually it will dry up and you'll get something like this and then you just, you know, toss it in there and it will feed the bed. Um, the other thing you can do is if you have weeds that are really, really um, uh, nasty, like they have the roots that just will grow, the tiniest little piece will just grow anywhere. What I do with those is either dry them up like this on a rock or gravel or I put them in a bucket and soak them for maybe a week or something until they just get into a slime and into that bucket it's really really smart to put some EMA, activated EM, which in Sweden is microfirm, in other parts of the world is EMA, some uh, parts it's called EMUS or CEM whatever but anyway activated EM in that bucket with the weeds that are just soaking for a week and I promise you you'll end up with a really bit smelly green slime but not that bad. Um, the roots will be harmless after that so you can then just slop it out onto any old garden bed and it will all go back into the soil and you get the benefits of the microbes. And why is that important? Because the more microbes you've got in the soil, the more active the soil is going to be. You know, it's, it's uh, so much activity going on under here that we just can't see, we don't know about, we don't even think about it. And the more activity you've got, the better, but you do have to feed it. So keep feeding it with whatever, you know, uh, waste from your garden, bits and pieces of uh, anything actually that you have that you can just add on here. And it might not look that beautiful, but that's not the point because the beautiful thing is that you're feeding the soil all the time. And this is where EM comes in because maybe you start in your house, you, you, you just like have quite bad soil and it's, um, it, you, you know, you, you can just work it out that it's not that active in the soil. Uh, so you want to kickstart the micro life so that it can absorb this uh, good mulch that you're feeding it and that's where the EM comes in. So if you spray out your Bokashi juice, uh, Bokashi liquid regularly, you will activate the microbes, you will also kickstart the nutrients in the soil and then as you add more and more mulch, which can be weeds or whatever, that will just help to uh, feed those microbes. If you're not feeding them, the microbes will go. They, they'll find somewhere else to be. Same with the worms. You know, if they don't like it, they'll go. There's always somewhere that's got more food. So keep feeding them, and that's smart. And keep them active in that place where you want them to be. And every little garden bed that doesn't look like much, uh, this doesn't, but it's got, you know, 20 or 30 uh, uh, plants in here that are about to, to grow. Just keep feeding it, toss in whatever. And uh, don't go for that bare brown look because that's history, you know, that's just not the way we want to have our soil. We want to have our soil covered at all times. And if you've got weeds, put the weeds in, but do dry them first so they don't grow again. <laughs>